Is now a good time to buy or sell the TQQQ ETF? Welcome back. In this video, we'll be taking a deep dive into the TQQQ ETF. We previously published a report on our website on Wednesday, January 17, 2024, and today we're here to provide you with an even more detailed analysis. To ensure you never miss any important updates that could impact your investments, be sure to subscribe, hit the like button, and turn on the notification bell. Stay informed with our latest analysis. Want to make better trading decisions? Try our newly launched AI stock analysis tool powered by GPT-4 at stockinvest.us. Tap into the power of artificial intelligence and receive free price predictions and in-depth analysis for any of the 25,000 companies worldwide. Lastly, please note that this video is for informational purposes only and should not be considered as financial advice. Starting from January 8, 2024, our system has identified TQQQ as a buy candidate, giving it a score of 3.42. Now, let's dive into the stock's performance during this period. During this time, the stock has experienced a gain of 1.42%. This means that, on average, it has returned 0.2% per day ever since it was identified as a buy candidate. The ETF is currently experiencing a strong upward trend, indicating potential for further growth in the short term. Based on the three-month trend, there is a projected 50.02% change over the next three months. This suggests a potential return between 44.25% and 68.35%. Looking at the 12-month trend, there is a projected 94.15% change over the next year. This could result in a return between 43.33% and 107.63%. In terms of price, this translates to a range of $70.86 to $102.65 after one year. In our latest update for TQQQ, we have some important information to share. On Wednesday, the 17th of January 2024, TQQQ experienced a red day as its ETF price fell by 1.73%, dropping from $50.31 to $49.44. Throughout the day, the ETF fluctuated between a low of $47.87 and a high of $49.59, showing a 3.59% difference. It's worth noting that the price has risen in 6 of the last 10 days, resulting in a 2.72% increase over the past 2 weeks. Although volume has increased by 10 million shares on the last day, this occurred alongside falling prices. This could be seen as an early warning sign, indicating a slight increase in risk over the next few days. Overall, there were approximately 83 million shares traded, amounting to $4.09 billion. Let's take a look at the performance of TQQQ over the past 52 weeks. The highest price reached was $52.01, while the lowest price was $18.58. Currently, the price sits at $2.57, or 4.94%, below the 52-week high. Additionally, it is $141.44, or 74.1%, below the all-time high recorded on January 8, 2021, with a price of $190.88. Let's take a closer look at the signals for TQQQ. On Wednesday, December 27, 2023, a sell signal was issued from a pivot top point. Since then, the ETF has fallen by minus 4.07%. It is expected to continue falling until a new bottom pivot has been found. Additionally, there is currently a sell signal from the three-month moving average convergence divergence, MACD. Yesterday, volume rose on falling prices, which could be an early warning sign. It is important to closely monitor the ETF in light of this. However, there are also some positive signals to consider. The short-term moving average gives a sell signal, but the long-term average gives a buy signal. This indicates that there is a general buy signal for the ETF, suggesting a positive forecast for the stock. In terms of resistance and support levels, the ETF may face resistance at around $49.75, according to the short-term moving average. On the other hand, if the ETF falls, it could find support at approximately $47.67, based on the long-term average. A breakup through the short-term average will send a buy signal, while a breakdown through the long-term average will send a sell signal. 
Here are some additional signals that you may find interesting. The moving average convergence divergence is indicating a sell signal. Pivots have shown a sell signal 14 days ago. Bollinger bands have indicated a buy signal 19 days ago. The short-term moving average is suggesting a sell signal 2 days ago. On the other hand, the long-term moving average has given a buy signal 8 days ago. The relationship between the short and the long moving averages showed a buy signal 48 days ago. Now, let's take a look at the 12-month chart. The short-term moving average is indicating a sell signal 2 days ago. However, the long-term moving average is suggesting a buy signal 46 days ago. The relationship between the short and the long moving averages showed a buy signal 36 days ago. For more signals and insights, be sure to visit our page at stockinvest.us. Let's talk about support, risk, and stop loss for TQQQ. When it comes to support, the ETF has some key levels to watch. Just below today's level, we can see support at $44.40 and $44.24 based on accumulated volume. It's important to note that if the ETF breaks through a support level, it may move down to the next one. So, if $44.40 is broken, the next support levels to keep an eye on are $44.24 and $38.22. Now, let's consider the risk involved. TQQQ has average movements during the day and good trading volume, which puts its risk in the medium range. Looking at the previous day, the ETF moved $1.72 between its high and low, representing a 3.59% change. Over the past week, the daily average volatility has been 3.52%. Today, let's take a closer look at some potential day trading levels for TQQQ. If we see an upward trend, the first resistance level for TQQQ is at $50.04. If you don't currently own any shares, you might want to consider waiting until this level is breached before entering a position. However, for those who are already holding the stock, this could be a level worth considering for swing trading. On the downside, TQQQ encounters its first support level at $44.40. If this support level holds, it could present a favorable entry point, with the potential for a rebound. For this ETF, we recommend setting the stop loss at $47.60, which is a decrease of 3.73%. This ETF tends to have moderate daily movements, which means there is a medium level of risk involved. We've identified a sell signal from a pivot top that was detected 13 days ago. Is TQQQ ETF a good buy? While several signals and indicators are currently negative, we believe this will have an impact on its development in the next few days and possibly weeks. However, over time, we see a potential buying opportunity at today's level, with the price expected to increase during or at the end of this three-month period. Upon analyzing the volatility and movements from the last trading day, our systems indicate that the current price is overvalued. For Thursday, January 18th, we anticipate TQQQ to open down by $0.473 and start trading at $48.97. Before we begin, it's important to note that trading comes with a high risk of losing money. It's always recommended to consult with a financial advisor before making any buying or selling decisions. Please be aware that StockInvest.us is not a reliable source for making investment choices. By using the information provided, you agree to take full responsibility for your own investment decisions. Welcome to Stock Invest. In this video, we're going to take a look at the current view of the stock. We'd love to hear your thoughts, so please comment below and let us know if you agree or disagree. We're also curious to know what your target for the ETF is. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe to our channel for more content like this. As always, we wish you successful trading and hope you have a beautiful day. Regards from all of us here at Stock Invest.